Hello and welcome to my candle channel. This is Juliana Sproles on the 23rd of December 2021 making a very large Christmas container candle. I'm using Premium Craft Square Braid Cotton Wick number two and I'm going to go ahead and adhere the four um, wicks that I've already prepared. I primed them, I crimped them with the sustainer tab on the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and put a little dot of glue on each one and adhere them to the bottom of my jar right here. And I think I'll be able to use my popsicle stick to help hold those in place in just a minute. Okay, so I can imagine that I have four pillar candles or three pillar candles, three or four in the bottom of here. That's why I went ahead and decided to go with four wicks today. One day I might make three pillars and place them in there. I think that would look pretty to have three at different heights. I don't have time to make the pillars before we visit family tomorrow. So we'll see how this container candle works out. The thing is it's very large and it the glass is cold. So Large candles have a propensity for cracking, and um, I don't want to set myself up for that, but I have to be careful. And we might have to do a double pour before it cools off too much, so. I crimped my wick tabs, sustainer tabs, onto my wicks very securely pinch them pretty hard so that they won't pull out and I'm just putting the high temp glue gun onto the aluminum tab it's now on the bottom so okay if I use these they're gonna be way too close to the sides that's not gonna unless I were to make a grid like this Put a, a dot of glue on each end, dot of glue, and I make a box. Like so, I might be able to let's see if I can improvise. Improvise here. Do, 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 do. Stick that there. Stick this here. Let's goes in, number three goes in, and number four. The only thing is, they're further from the middle than I would like. So... This might be okay just to pour the candle and then I can adjust them.
maybe, 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 maybe I can, but just then, maybe I can, but just then. For this Christmas container candle, I'm using two and a half to three pounds of beeswax. I am pouring in intentions for peace, love, and happiness. This is 100% pure beeswax. I'll leave it about there. So it looks pretty dark in color right now, but it's going to turn golden. And um, let's just see what this side looks like. It's going to be pretty. I'll let the video run a few more minutes so we can watch it cool off. at least begin to cool. I won't go the whole entire way. Need our Christmas music back on. These are in the oven. It's gonna be a pretty little candle, I think. Let's see. We shall see. Because it's so large, it's cooling more slowly. The hot wax started to cool around the outside edge and then it melted a little bit again when the hot wax was in the middle. With so much volume, it just almost remelts the outside and then it'll cool off again. So, I'll just make sure that if there are any cracks that form in it, I'll pour it again to smooth them out. 
before any cracks separate from the edge of the glass and the main body of wax. Some people will take, take a heat torch and they'll go over it to smooth out any imperfections. But this handle being so large might need a double pour. Not, ma not majorly, but maybe just another little bit. But you'll see when there's a double pour, you'll have a little line there. But once you light it and it, it goes, it'll be pretty. It's a Christmas candle for holiday time in the year of 2021. My, what a year it has been. I was hoping to show the top of it, but you know what? I think I'll go ahead and leave it there. And um, oh, I know we could pull a we could pull a oracle card while we're waiting for it to cool off, just for something fun. This is the Rainbow Warrior Activation Deck. By Justine Sarabrin and Tracy Dumblazer. I don't have a lot of space here. So let's shuffle. Oops. Card number 43 is the solar plexus that represents power, presentation, position, implementation, concoct, fabricate, and presence. Nothing is more valuable in terms of human interaction than first impressions or how you present your position. Regardless of its truth, others will remember what you say about yourself. They'll remember your disposition or the confidence of your actions. Even if you don't believe in them, this is a basic principle of successful marketing. Ultimately, your goal is to be authentic in how you present yourself 
matching how you feel to the impression you give. The solar plexus of the body is the center where you possess emotion, where you process emotion. It's from here you stake a claim to your place in the real world. Our emotions transmit our deepest expression. So when you're going through any kind of transition, purifying on any level will greatly improve your condition. And 15 is the earth element, which represents nurture, nature, growth, stability, commitment, fundamental relationship, and family. The element of earth is comprised of how we plant, nurture, and watch our seeds grow. It is the cool depth of perception we cultivate to support our desires and choices. The earth contains many properties, metals of all kinds, minerals, and water. The perfect combination of ingredients in the right measure is the foundation of growth. At the moment, what is burgeoning in your life? It, is it happiness, a project, a relationship, personal wealth, or fulfilling the needs of others? Take stock of the ingredients you possess and the ones you need in order to realize your creation. Try different combinations to see what works best. Don't worry about wasting time. It's best spent honoring what you have and collecting or cultivating what you don't. So we collected lots of materials for candles and it's still so hot. It's not forming. Okay, this is going to be good. It's cooling slowly so we will leave it there and do a part two to follow up and see how it turns out Juliana Sproles signing out